Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. So let's talk about Arataki Ito himself. Let's see if you should roll for him as a character when he launches this Wednesday. Now, before we even start, if you like the character or if you like any of the characters that I mention in the video, go for them. Don't let my objective kind of information about them currently sway your want for the design of the character, the personality, any of those things. If you like the character, go get them. You literally just stop watching the video from now on and uh, just go grab them whenever they launch because I'm going to be pretty much tearing down these characters and just kind of talk about them how I see them currently uh, without any number information and any of that because the number of information will come later in a different video when I make guides and kind of previews of both Arataki and Goro. But with that out of the way, Let's talk about this new banner. So on Twitter, um, Mahoyo has announced that Arataki is coming with these three four stars, Zhangling, Goro, and Barbara. And let's see if you should roll on this banner. So taking apart the four star characters first, literally there is only one good character here, and uh, that is Zhangling. Now that is objective. That is 100% true there. I'm sorry to break it to you guys, but Goro is not a great character, at least in variety of playstyle and kind of synergy. He really only synergizes with either Geo characters or defense-based characters. And seeing as Arataki Ito and Noel are the only defense-based characters, it's either you having him on your team makes everyone a tank, or having him on your team buffs Arataki and Noel's damage. That's really the only kind of premise of his playstyle. Barbara, on the other hand, well, she's a healer, and she's a good healer at that. That's all she is. She doesn't deal massive damage unless you build her for it, and overall, the, any other healer is probably just as fine, and you don't really kind of want her. She only has value, and you get a free one at the start of the game, so there's no point having her. And then the only one here that's good is Zhangling, in my opinion. She's a good damage support, good damage main DPS, good good damage, good character overall. So you're pretty much, for the four stars, you have a one in three chance of getting a good one. You're probably not going to get it because it's one in three and it's Mahoyo's RNG, so it's probably skewed. But that is that, that's the four star character. In terms of the five star character, Arataki Ito, he's a niche character, that's what I'm boiling this down to. He's a very niche character. He's a niche playstyle, a very odd way to build because he's defense and it's also Husk of Opulent Dreams and it's like stack stack uh, min-maxing, min-maxing uh, uh, Husk of Opulent Dreams four set uh, bonus stacks and whatnot but he can't do it that well because he doesn't have Geo constant attacks, and so it's during his burst and whatnot. So he's a very niche playstyle character with his heavy attacks being the main damage source. Now, what, I've, what this is all boiling down to is that I don't recommend rolling for Arataki Ito unless you very much want him for his aesthetics. Obviously, he looks like an absolutely phenomenal little character in my opinion, and if I didn't want to get Shen Hei, I'd probably roll for him. Uh, but because I don't like, I don't like the idea of risking all of my fun in terms of gameplay for a character that might be just numerically garbage. Obviously, subjective, you know, he might not be garbage, but, you know, he's an auto-attack character with his ultimate, so he has a chance of being really bad, and also through the playstyle of charge attacks, he could also be bad. Again, very, very hypothetical, subjective information there, but the chances are there. He has a 50% chance of being bad, 50% chance of being good, and in my honest opinion, that is not a good percent to try to get a character on. But again, like I said, if you like the character, get him. Now, out of the things coming when Arataki launches, the only thing I recommend rolling on is the weapon banner. This is a fucking phenomenal weapon banner. Let me break it down to you guys. This is literally a phenomenal weapon banner. We haven't seen that one this good in quite a while. So, you have the Skyward Harp and you have the Red Horn Stone Thresher. The Red Horn Stone Thresher is a crit damage uh, substat weapon uh, with a pretty, I think, low amount of base damage. Don't quote me, though. I think it's low. I think it's, like, in the 500s. Uh, and then its ability is increases your normal and charge attack uh, damage based on your defense. So it's not actually your overall damage. It's just your normal and charge attack. So it's really only going to be great on... Uh, it's it's going to be phenomenal on Arataki and Noel. It's going to be good on every other Claymore user. Not phenomenal on them, but good at most. And again, the Skyward Harp, everyone knows that this is a great bow on pretty much any bow character that's a main DPS. You can't really go wrong with the Skyward Harp. Overall, a very good choice of five star weapons. In terms of the four stars, I don't really fucking care because they're four star weapons. So out of the two banners, probably the best one to get is, is really just going for the weapon banner. But again, if you like things, if you like the characters, go for them. I just don't have high hopes for both Arataki and Goro because they are very very niche playstyles. Goro more so than Arataki, in my honest opinion. Goro, again, being defense booster, you, that's not really something you want on your team. Let me tell you that, guys, right now. You don't want a defense booster on your, your, your like, attack-based team, um, as well as him being, like, a zone character, and he you know, is a bow character and whatnot. It's just very, very niche and very odd. And then Arataki is a bit better, but, again, very niche, very... I just wanted to make this warning for players before they jump in, instantly roll for Arataki day one, and then when they can't build him or when they don't have the artifacts or when they don't like the playstyle, I don't want people complaining, oh, blah, 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 Arataki's trash, I hate him, like they did with Raiden Shogun. 
Raiden Shogun again, same example, very niche, but very good. Arataki, again, though, 50-50 chance, could be good, could be bad. But yeah, just want to make this small video talking about the potential bad, potentially good character Arataki and the four stars accompanying him as well, as well as the phenomenal five-star banner. So that's this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Enjoy your day.